without time. Will new experiments prove Einstein was right or wrong? This is the CBS Evening News with John Roberts. As every new year approaches, many people take stock of how they used their time in the past year and will use it next year. Others aren't so much contemplating the use of time as the very essence of time itself. And that's tonight's Sunday cover, an astounding and confounding journey into space, time, and the strings that may tie everything together. At the largest watch store in the world, time is money. Time is our life here. Amar Murad is a manager at Torno Time Machine, where keeping track of time can cost you from fifty to three hundred thousand dollars. For example, you can have a watch that can keep track of the leap years until the year 2100 without you adjusting it. Which is fine for the confines of our daily human existence. But what happens when you leave the world that we live in for the boundless realm of space? We all have a sense that the time we experience in our heads, in our bodies, is the same time that everybody else experiences, anywhere and any when. But Einstein taught us actually a long time ago, almost a century ago, that that is just not true. What Einstein taught us, says physicist Brian Greene, is that our perception of time depends on where we are in space or how quickly we're moving through it. So in a universal hourglass, time actually advances on countless clocks time very much is in the eye of the beholder. But not all of Einstein's theories have been proven. This is Gravity Probe B, designed by scientists at Stanford University. When launched in April, it will test Einstein's theory that giant planets and stars, with their enormous gravitational fields, warp time and space. Time and space and gravity are interconnected in a very unexpected way. Francis Everett has worked more than 20 years on the project. If successful, the probe will answer some key questions and possibly raise others. One of the most obvious things that we don't know about time is why in space you can move in two directions, but in time you can only move in one direction. Another mind-bending stitch in time is being sown by proponents of something called string theory. String theorists have music on their minds. They believe the most basic building blocks of the universe are actually string-like structures that vibrate like guitar strings, producing everything from elemental particles to gravity. And in the realm where the strings really manifest themselves, the basic ideas of space, the basic ideas of matter, the basic idea of time, we believe evaporates. String theorists compare space to a cosmic loaf of bread where our universe is just one of many slices. We truly believe from the mathematics that there is a realm that's more fundamental than the one that we live in. And the one that we lived in emerged from that realm, and that realm had no notion of time. Concrete proof of that realm is still beyond science's capabilities. So for now, physicists, like the rest of us, must live within a human construct, where past, present, and future is charted by tiny sprockets and dials that watchmakers wisely call complications. Time allows you to have a family, time allows you to travel, time is life, time is everything. I love time. And that's all the time we have for the CBS Evening News for this Sunday. Later on CBS 60 Minutes in the Michael Jackson interview. Tomorrow on The Early Show, more on mad cow disease. I'm John Roberts in New York. Thanks for choosing CBS News. Have a good night.